All right, what's up, everybody? It's your man, Dudes Does, right back down here at Myrtle Grove, doing my thing again, baby. Don't forget, every Monday night, we got a video coming out on YouTube. We're gonna be going over some of the old videos, and then we're gonna have some new videos coming out. If you've already seen them, watch them again. I'd appreciate it. And you can learn something. You might catch something that you missed the first time. If you haven't seen them, because they're on my IGTV if you want to see them. If you haven't seen them, then tune in to YouTube to watch the premiere. And Monday nights, I just might be there to chat with you while it's playing live, all right? All right. Down to business. Today, oh, I've been waiting on this. You're going to see what Goose is all about in this YouTube series. You're going to see me going to the gun range. I'm telling you. This is going to be amazing! You guys, it's all about what I do and where I go, and trust me, you're going to love it. It's not going to be lame. We might even see you. That's how we do it. I want you to come along with me. Make sure you follow on Instagram, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Snap, everything, man. Right? Make sure you follow me on everything, because if you ain't following me, you're missing out. The CZ Rammy 9mm. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first shots of the CZ Rammy 9mm. Ooh, this thing is sweet. I got the decocker model. Oh, because this will be a carry gun for me. I will be keeping it somewhere close. Let's make it do what it do, yeah? All right, the chamber's good. All right, so I'm gonna aim right for the zombie's mouth. We got a zombie apocalypse going on down here a couple feet in front of me. I'm gonna aim right for that zombie's mouth. All right. Okay, so it ran through those 10 rounds real smooth. So, um, not that bad, I'm a little bit to the left. See, I don't have really, really good pinky, pinky grip in this way. See? But, let's see how we do. Right, it's not bad, we ran through. So we're gonna go ahead and reload this thing up. All right, welcome back everybody. So, we got loaded up, range is hot. So let's go back, regular range ammo. I'm just gonna let it fly. Yeah, we're stuck on the ejector. <laughs> All right, that's clear. This is a nice little piece, man. You know, it's kind of, it's old metal, metal frame, uh, no plastic, no paper. So it has a nice little weight to it. It's not as snappy as the Hellcat. The Hellcat is very snappy. This is not as snappy as the Hellcat, not at all. That man, you see, you get my shirt dirty. You know, I'll be fresh. I don't want to get my shirt dirty now. I still gotta go other places to be fresh. Other places, yeah. When you're loading the magazine, I like to give this little tip. I kind of hold it with my pinky at the bottom, I use my thumb to press down on the rounds at the back. And I place the back of the cartridge. 
kind of like in between the front rim of the last cartridge and the feed lips. Push it down, push the rounds down. That takes some of that tension off. And then you push down with the actual round and then push back. Chambered perfectly, let's go. Let's see what we can do. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. This thing pops. This thing will pop. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I like that. All right. But you know what? I'm going to do a little something with my 380 because um, I haven't run my 380 in a minute. I'm carrying it today. Two things that are important, shot placement and capacity. Capacity is important. So this magazine is a six round, uh, well I got a little stitching on it, little pierce, little pierce grip, you know, plus one. So uh, this is a seven rounder and another extension, this is a plus two, so this is an eight rounder. And then I have a two. Got a 10 round. Capacity is important in shot placement. If you're putting the shot in the center, you should be okay. You know, I mean, do what you gotta do. You know, you gotta protect yourself, you gotta protect your family. But whatever you're doing, make sure that you are representing the Second Amendment correctly. Make sure you're representing other firearm owners correctly, the right way, doing the right things, saying the right things, using your firearm the right way. Okay, because that's important too. Don't think just because you got a license or whatever that you can do whatever you want and they won't it. They will put you on the grill, barbecue, like I bought the lamb. All right.